Hi everyone, my name is Janaea and I'm from the Long Beach Public Library. Today we'll be doing an experiment on the density of salt water in this very awesome experiment. And before we start, I want to let you guys know that our summer reading program has started. So if you haven't signed up yet, go ahead and go over to longbeach.beanstack.org to sign up today. If you already signed up for our summer reading program, don't forget to go and enter in your activity code, which is summer, in your activities tab in Beanstack. For today's experiment, we will see how salt affects the density of water. We will also see how sugar and baking soda also affects the density of water. Density means that it is making something heavier. So basically, it's we have water and we're going to have put salt in. And when we put the salt into the water, that is making it heavier. Um, and we're going to see how that affects it. So let's get our supplies ready. You'll need four clear cups and you want a marker and you want to be able to write down or you can have somebody write down the words for you. You're going to write down water, you're going to write, write down salt, you're going to write down sugar, and the last one will be baking soda. You want to make sure that you write it down because you don't want to forget what you put into the cup. After you're done writing down what you are going to put into the cup, you can add warm water into all of the cups. So for, you will only be adding to three cups. You want to leave the water by itself. So you can see the difference of what happens when we add the um, salt, sugar, and baking soda to the water. Um, so you will also need a tablespoon, you can use one big spoon at home, or um, you can use a spoon to stir your salt, sugar, or baking soda, or you can use popsicle sticks. I'm going to use popsicle sticks. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, so I already had these pre-made, but you're going to use two scoops of each. You're going to use two scoops of the salt, sugar, and baking soda into the cups. So let's pour it in now. We're going to pour in the salt. We're going to pour in the sugar. Ooh. And we're going to pour in the baking soda. So I have three sticks, but you can just use one if you want. So I'm going to stir the salt up. And make sure it dissolves. So dissolves means it's going to want to see it kind of just disappear. That looks pretty good. You can already see a difference. You see how the water is clear and the salt kind of made it a little murky. Let's see what the salt sugar does. Ooh. It's a little cloudy, but not as much as the salt. And we'll see what the baking soda looks like. Ooh, looks a little bit like the salt. And that's why it's really important to write down what you're going to be putting in because they kind of look the same. Okay. Now that we have mixed everything together, um, we're going to put, pick out items. So you want to pick out stuff that you would want to see in there floating or if it doesn't float, you want to know. Um, I chose Legos, some sticker jewels, and some little sea animals. And just, oh, little sea animals. Um, so we're going to put some in each cup and see what will float and what doesn't. So let's start off with our water. So we're going to put one in the water. Oh, that one didn't float. None of them are floating. Oh, but the Lego's floating. Isn't that interesting? Okay, let's start try the salt. The jewel is floating. Sea animals not floating, maybe it's heavier. The sugar that goes to the bottom. And the baking soda didn't work either. Let's try it. Lego. Legos are floating. Legos are floating for all of them. And let's see. Get some jewels in that one. The jewels are kind of half floating. Oh, 
So now you're wondering what is going on. So now let's take a look at our results. With the water, the Lego is the only one that's floating. It could be that the weight of the Lego is lighter than the density of the water. So it's not as heavy. So when in our salt water, we have the jewels and the Lego that's floating and our sea animals are on the bottom. They are too heavy. Oh, and our sugar, we have the sea animals and the jewels on the bottom and the Lego on top. Does that look like it's very similar to water? It is. So that means the density in the water is very similar. Um, the density of sugar um, in the water is very similar to water by itself. And then let's look at baking soda. Do you see? There is, it's very similar to salt. On the bottom, the sea animals, I guess, were very heavy, so they ended up on the bottom. But we have our, our little jewels and our Lego floating on top, which is very similar to salt. And I wonder why they are the same. Because in baking soda, there's salt in it. So salt is very dense. And that's why they are similar to each other. So now that we ended our experiment and saw that the density of salt and baking soda are very similar and water and sugar water are the same density, um, you can start trying out different things at home with water. You can try sand, you can try dish um, soap, you can try um, other things, maybe even cocoa powder or something and see how, like if the density is different, um, comparing it to salt. Um, and also, if you haven't signed up for the summer reading program, don't forget to sign up at longbeach.beingstack.org. And if you already did, please don't forget to add the activity code to your activity tag on Beanstack. But before you really, really, really go, <laughs> I want to suggest some books to you. If you're interested in learning more or doing more experiments, we have some books at the library that can experiment with liquids or even read this book that's great about things that float and things that don't by David Adler. These are great books that can help explain more about um, density and you can try different experiments in it. Um, and so I hope you enjoyed this little experiment and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!